All right, guys, so in the last video, we are talking about consumer mathematics. We're really doing exponential functions, but the function that we were doing is a of t equals p to the 1 plus r divided by n and t. Now, here, when we're using that formula, n was whenever we were given a word like compounded monthly, compounded daily, and it would give us some sort of amount of time. The other instance that's going to happen is when it's going to say compounded continuously. So in this problem, it says suppose $1,500 is deposited into an IRA with an interest rate of 6%, compounded continuously. Continuously is our key word because this problem goes on and asks how much money will there be after 30 years. Well, with the word with, when you're compounding continuously, you're going to use the formula PERT. So we're going to do our A of T, our amount after given time, is going to be our principal, E, to the power of RT. Now, E, you want to think of it like pi, because you know pi is approximately 3.14. E is going to be approximately 2.71, which is also known as Euler's constant. So when you see the letter E in math, you should think of it as a number, not as a letter or variable. So our P still stands for our principal, our beginning amount. Well, our principal, our beginning amount, is $1,500. So this is our P. Our R, which is just our interest rate, is 6%, but we want that as a decimal, so it would be 0 0.06 because we have to move our decimal two spots. And then we need our T. Well, in the problem, it simply says 30 years right here. So this is my T. So this simply becomes a plug and chug type of problem. So we're going to set it up as A of T equals my principal amount, which is $1,500 times E, which is a number of Euler's constant, about 2.71. My rate, 0 0.06, times my time, which is 30 years. Once you throw this in the calculator, because you really can't do it by hand, because E is an irrational number, means it never ends. You can't write it as a fraction. Uh, in fact, when we read in class, it's believed that E is the first number that was used, um, found by using limits. But once you throw this in the calculator, which the scientific calculators that you guys use would be second LN, your answer would be approximately... Nine that nine zero seven four point four seven so nine thousand seventy four dollars and forty seven cents.